What's good, YouTube? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at why West Coast Bunch has always been and will always be one of the best gun bunches in the game. Going to give you a little mini scheme today out of West Coast Bunch that you can utilize uh, to pretty much attack any defense. And it also kind of showcases uh, why Bunch is so good year in and year out. Even though EA continues to try to patch this formation, it is still one of the best formations and probably always will be. Now, if you want to get my entire West Coast Offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to do so, and it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We're just uh, working on right now, dropping a really, really cool update for you guys on uh, the defensive side of the ball. We're going to be doing some really cool stuff on the offensive side of the ball in the Patreon over the course of the next couple weeks. So make sure that you're in there. If you're not, like I said, it's only 10 bucks. Uh, but wanted to talk you, with you today about West Coast Bunch and why it is so good. Um, the number one reason why West Coast Bunch is good is there are routes and concepts in West Coast Bunch that you really can't get elsewhere, especially the combination of those concepts. So um, we're going to utilize this play. Deep attack is going to kind of be our base play. It's really the reason why um, you want to be in gun bunch. And then we have a couple of different audibles I like to set. So the first audible that I like to set is I love to have um, the... Uh, stick play uh, this specific play I think is unique to West Coast bunch as well it has a really sharp cutting corner route uh, to the right side we're then going to also put wide receiver post this allows us to have something that can always pick up pressure we have verticals and then you could leave this corner strike one as a deeper corner route or you could go with the tried and true one of the best concepts year in and year out which is deep corner the, the West Coast playbook has so many power plays and that's what makes it so powerful Okay. Um, you also have tight slots, which is no uh, slouch of a formation. This specific tight slots isn't the best, but it is good. Um, you know, you could utilize plays like FL switch. You could utilize mesh. Um, there's a lot of decent concepts that you can kind of freestyle a lot this year as well at a tight. Uh, so if you wanted to, to add that into your arsenal. But again, deep attack is the base play. And then um, deep corner, another play that I would recommend if you wanted to um, have something, maybe wide receiver post. Wide receiver post is not like critical. Um, really mesh post is critical though. And mesh post, this has been one of the best concepts in Madden for years. And uh, let's get into the routes and why they're so good. So. Now, these are not only really good, but again, like I said, you can only get them out of West Coast. So this specific post route to the left, this route um, is unique to deep attack. Um, there are a play similar in, Pat, in the Pat's playbook called Pat's Sale. Uh, but this specific post, if you watch this route, it's a sharp cutting post that beats man coverage uh, pretty consistently. Okay. And it beats man coverage a couple different ways. So one of the, as you saw right there, that's one of the ways where it just like cuts inside and lights up and we can throw it, okay? Another way is like, let's say the cross man, this is something pretty popular this year. You see he lights up against that. So they have to have KOs alongside of, you know, inside shades or whatever they're trying to do over there. So that's part of it. Now, the other big piece of this is where it actually gets open at. So if you were to watch like deep corner, um, it's kind of like similar to flood. So this specific play right here is good, but if you watch this in route, that yellow zone, you see how that yellow zone kind of be in that area? The beauty of deep attack is that if that's the case, if they do have that, we can run a concept like, like basically this right here, where essentially we have this high low of the middle of the middle and we are basically creating a shallow cross and that yellow zone can't guard that post route as you can see right there now another reason why that post route is so powerful and so vital um is because a lot of people one of the other things that they're going to want to do is they are going to want to play a defense that essentially looks like this where they're going to double flat the bunch side and then on the left side to stop like a c route they're going to have um you know some type of concept like what i just showed you where they have like a third this post route will cut sharp enough inside that it can't really guard it even if they do have a middle third over the top so it gets underneath the deep blue zones and it gets uh over the top of yellow zones this is also why mesh post is a really valuable play as well because if you think about it 
we are going to attack you know that left side area of the field so maybe they uh kind of go crazy with adjustments to try to stop that um you know maybe do something like this on the left side what this what this now does and again very popular in bunch is to have some type of double flat to the bunch side um to take away like your corner routes and stuff like that so what this continues to do is it keeps this user in the middle of the field kind of in no man's land basically no matter what they do so let me show you why so if I go to mesh post, now I have this um, I have this this post route to the right side, and all I'm going to do with this now is we're going to streak our slot receiver, and then we're going to block our running back. Now we, if we wanted to, we could put a C route on the left side. There's a lot of things we could do, but I love this little just kind of shallow cross concept over that side, and now we high low them in the middle over on this other side. So you see how valuable um, having those two post routes are because they're two completely different defenses that your opponent has to do. Basically what we're walking them into is they pretty much have to play cover four to stop this. The problem with cover four is cover four is not 100% consistent, but also another problem with cover four is guess what, That's that coverage is very susceptible to our deep corner play, right? We could, if we wanted to, if we just run this play as is, typically this corner route on the right is gonna get wide open against cover four. So you see how, because of the space that this, uh, that this formation actually attacks, it makes it extremely difficult to play defense because let's say that we're gonna do something like this, maybe they bring these safeties down, right? Cross manning doesn't stop these post routes very well this year, um, which is another little key tip. But, you know, if they try to go to cover four to try to stop this, another thing that we can do is we can run a line, run this play verticals. We're going to put that slot receiver on a slot apprentice post, and then we can basically create a high-low on the left, and then we can also have the seam wheel uh, to the tight end. So you see they have to go there, and now this becomes wide open over on the left-hand side. So this little mini scheme here out of the West Coast bunch will always be good. It will always be good because um, you still have verticals. You still have deep corners you have stick um, which is a really good play this year specifically for attacking the man-to-man -man meta uh, because you have a slant you have a, a deep in uh, streak that can uh, be aggressive caught and then you also have this corner route uh, to the to the right side which you could pretty much throw like right on the cut and then basically ag back to it and avoid the ko so if you guys want to get my entire West Coast ebook, this is kind of just the tip of the iceberg. This is why it's so good. And uh, again, if you want to get access to all of that stuff, make sure you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to do so. Get you access to everything over there, all ebooks, all updates, everything for just 10 bucks. Thanks for watching. Head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.